Hey, Sean. Hey, guys. Hey. I got the meat. Woo! Oh, yeah. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Trying to start a fire in the fireplace. Yeah, but it's an electric fireplace. It isn't supposed to. Oh. Oh, well, whatever. Caribou steak. Sweet. Ostrich? So flightless. You got kosher lobster. <laughs> yes. And chimp. Oh, boy. Bob, you're not supposed to be eating chimps. They're our furry brothers. But, Shawnee Sean, you know how much I love thumb meat. <laughs> By the beard of almighty Odin, let's start the show. Welcome, welcome to the show. It's cold outside, just look at the snow. I think yeah. I just lost my left big toe on the Sean Collins show. It's cold, baby, it's cold outside. The thermometer told me to run and hide. I'd like to find Shelly Winters and climb inside on the Sean Collins show. Well, it's nice oh. to go out in the snow, but when the ice pellets oh. hit me, I have to say no. I looked at my pants and saw icicles grow. All right, they weren't my pants. But sit back, sit back and relax. Let the tension dribble right out of your cracks. I hope no one in the band plays an effeminate sax on the Shaw Collin Show. On the Shaw Collin Show. What are they talking about, cold? I mean, it's just a TV show, man. Mm. I'm, I'm warm. I'm hot, in fact. Yeah, yeah, me too. Now that you mention it, how can it be winter over there in the studio and summer here in the audience? Well, you see, that's the magic of television. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> or the deceit of television. Lies? <laughs> Th this is all lies? You You're liars! 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 You liars! You liars! I've got your stuff up here. Coming. <sighs> hey, look, everyone. It's Winston. The hey, Winston. What's with the getup? Oh, this whole thing? Well, I thought with the impending ice age, it would embrace the ways of the Inu people. I don't remember Inuit people in coveralls. It's a pantsuit carved out of soapstone. All the Inu wear them. <laughs> Ask my spirit guide, Oglarp. He's guiding me in the ways of the snows. Here yeah, she going, eh? She's fine. <laughs> this man is not a spirit guide. He's in a tracksuit. Hey, yeah, come on. It's made out of sealskin. It is not. You're just jealous, because I'll be prepared if we get snowed in for days. <laughs> Here, I got your whale blubber. <gasps> President's choice memories of Fowdy Moat's whale nuggets. <laughs> come on, Luke. Let's groom the dog team. Hey, did you get the Mordecai Richler dipping sauce? Yeah, it's bittersweet. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I mean, it's probably just a little storm that's gonna blow over. This is not a little storm that's going to blow over. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ann Medina. Authorities say this is the largest snowstorm in history. Experts believe wolves will be driven down from the mountains to find food and mate with human women. Hey, I wouldn't mind a little of that virile wolf action. <laughs> with the girls, huh? huh? One can only wonder if humanity will survive as anything but a servitor race to a new race of superhuman wolf hybrid creatures. <laughs> Authorities are advising people to stay in their homes until the storm passes or the wolves get here. I like wolves, but not as lupine overlords. <laughs> More as Hairy brethren who share in Earth's bounty. <laughs> I better get uh, in here with this stuff. Betty's been waiting for it. Excuse me. Betty, what? what's with all these jars? Oh, I'm just putting up some preserves in case we're snowed in for a long time. I've got pickled jalapenos, cubes, <laughs> onions. Uh, what are these? Those are my scouring pads. Good. <laughs> now, don't you think you're being a little ridiculous? I mean, you're going a little over the top with all this canning and jarring. I mean, it's, it's only snow, isn't it? <laughs> oh! 
he cuke slapped again. <gasps> Sonny! No cuke slaps. No. <laughs> it's not ridiculous, Sean. Strange things happen in the snow. I remember once a blizzard came when I was working as a cook in an asbestos mine. <laughs> I was all alone and cut off from the outside world. And that's when it came. A great hairy beast with glaring eyes. It crept in the window of my cabin and made it with me. <laughs> I was powerless in the face of his feral desires. Our screams of ecstasy echoed across the frozen tundra as we consummated our animal passions. <laughs> Woo! 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 Oh, yeah, that's the spot right there. You got it right there. Ready, ready. 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 You were grunting. Again? Yes, again. Oh, sorry. Anyways, a few weeks later, I realized that I was with child. Oh. 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 That makes a lot of sense. Now, ah! I'll be out here. Hey, it's cozy in here. Hey, who cares if it's snowy outside? I love snow. Snow. Squatchy. Look at them! So jolly and happy in their little house! It's enough to make me want to kill them even more! Oh. <laughs> I am supposed to be conducting an auction of stolen nuclear hovercraft from the Ukraine! <laughs> but I can't concentrate knowing that simp is next door! <sighs> oh, Sean Cullen. How can I make you suffer? I know! Go to the junction box out on the street and cut the power to the house! Then they will freeze like eggs in a... Um... Oh, I can't think of a suitable analogy. Like eggs in an envelope? <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, what the hell kind of analogy is that? What are you? What are you? Get out of here! Take a night course and then cut the cable! First cut the cable, then take a course! Get out! <sighs> ah, yes, Sean Cullen. With no power, you will freeze. By the time anyone finds you, you will be a giant, silly popsicle. And, and I will ride your frozen corpse like a huge man sled down a very big hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you big furry jackass. <laughs> in packs with one male and several females. But you won't need more than one of me, you furry alpha male. <laughs> oh, oh. I wonder what else is on. And now, back to our festival of depressing winter films from the former Soviet Union. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it. Oh, well. Who could that be? Wild 
Maybe I will. <laughs> oh, foul fuck! Come in out of the cold. I hate to intrude. The power's out at home. My Sasquatch companion accidentally severed the power cables. <laughs> you know how it is. That's not true. Listen, get out of the way, Bob. Get the frau a meat stick. Thanks. Oh my God, look, the evil neighbors in the house. Oh my God, when did that happen? I don't know. No, television's totally destroyed my attention span. Yeah, I can't focus on one thing for more than this. Oh my God, the evil neighbors in the house. Oh my God. So, here we are. Yeah, here we are, that's for sure. Ooh. Cold enough for you? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. a cold one, yeah. <laughs> hey, I know. Sorry, everyone. But since we're all stuck in here, why don't we get to know each other a little bit? Why don't we go around the circle and each one of us will tell her a story about ourselves? All right? I'll start. You know, as a child, I was very theatrical. I used to dress up all the time. Who's he supposed to be? Uh, Winston Churchill, I think. Where'd he get the costume? I have no idea. Those were good years. Hey, Winston. We're just telling stories about ourselves. Why don't you tell one? Oh, oh, there's not much to tell. Oh, come on, Winston. Yeah, come on. Come on, Winston. You didn't always live in my cellar. No, I didn't always live in your cellar. Mr. Bullard? Get back in that hole. <laughs> this is a real improvement. Oh. You guys. You remember when we met? It was on a night just like this yeah. one. <laughs> Who could that be? Dude, we're Ben. Do you want to feed us and give us couches to lie on? We're totally hungry. And we're like pretty freaking lazy, eh? Sure, come on in. Thanks. Right on. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Betty. You know, Bob was just looking at me with his eyes! <laughs> well, we're all just telling stories about ourselves and things we've done in the past. Why don't you tell that story about the hairy guy who, you know... <gasps> Some stories are for the kitchen only, Sean Cullen. <laughs> Both names. I'm in trouble. <clears throat> so... Canvassing the neighborhood on behalf of the government of Nunavut, we have a new program where you can have an Innu man come and live in your house and teach you the ways of the Inuit people. Oh, we already have one. I'm sorry. We've oh, he was right there. We have one, but Uglar, Ugly. Okay, look. Uh, if you're not interested, it's okay. Just don't give me some lame excuse like I already have one. Okay. No, he was right there. I mean, look. I, I may not be a big. TV star, all right? Maybe you think I have nothing better to do than go house to house trying to foist useless things on people. Maybe when I was a kid, my father used to dress up as a paperweight and chase me around the house. But that doesn't give you any right to treat me like crap. Oh, forget it. I've had my fill of this life. To hell with you. I didn't mean to hurt your feet. Oh my God, has he shot himself? Don't flatter yourself. I just stepped on a light bulb, sucker. I'll be right back, Sonny. 
Mommy's just going to the curb. Tomorrow's garbage day. I'm okay. Oh, my back. All right. Be right back, baby. Okay. Must get to curb. It's you. Oh, I knew you'd come back someday. Let's make up for lost time. Oh my gosh! Everybody loves duets. No, I don't, okay? I hate duets. They're hokey. Oh, it'll be fun. No, it won't. Yes, it will. No, it won't. I've never yes, it liked them. No, it won't. You say that you don't care. And you say, don't touch my hair. But you like it, I know. And so I have my evil vase. The beating of my heart betrays the feelings that grow. We pulled the worlds apart, but in the landscape of the heart, we're living just next door. <laughs> but when push turns to shove and the topic turns to love, I try and kill you. You play so hard to get, but I swear my heart is set that one day you'll be mine. Come here, kitty. <laughs> So I want you dead I put a bullet through your head I think your smile is divine We live our separate lives I threaten you with knives But deep down you care And when we're close like this A kick might just become a kiss I try and kill you as we journey through the years, the laughter, violence, and tears will muddle through. And I wait until that fateful day when you might turn around and say, I'll kill. Yeah, sure, you better get set. It's a mic set. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Uh, oh, my eyes! Halt, oh. Robbie! Forrest and pepper spray you! Why did you pepper spray me? Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. You okay? Uh, sorry, oh. sorry, that's all right. You're okay. No. You're all right. You're okay. What? Uh, sorry! Sorry, I'm Constable Shh. Fraser Benton, and I'm in search of someone posing as an Inuit. Is that a crime? Look, are you sure I can... Oh, my sorry. eyes! Sorry, okay. My eyes. Listen, that is police brutality. That is brutality right there. Absolutely. I feel free to lodge a complaint. Oh. Oops, my fault. <laughs> oh, there. I'm wearing fish mittens. They've melted all my gold and sculpted a polar bear out of it. Have I passed the test of manhood now? That's my man. What? Not you, fish mitts. The other guy. Oh, Glad, I trusted you. Ay, ay, ay. My name is Pablo, okay? I am a Mexican, not an Eskimo. Well, that explains the walrus enchiladas. Come on, keep moving. Hey, that's my gold! Hey, it's evidence now. I'm sorry. There you go. Can you believe it? He was a Mexican posing as an Eskimo. Damn Mexicos! <laughs> well, on the upside, the snow stopped. And the power's on next door. I guess I better be going then. <laughs> it's been a wonderful night. But I realize now that that's all it ever can be. You're a Sasquatch, and I'm a single mom. <laughs> hmm. 
He's got your eyes. Oh, hey, enough of your woodsy voodoo. It's better this way. Oh, could you get the trash on your way out? It's terribly heavy. Super. Thanks. So, the storm has passed, and with it, the threat of wolf invasion. This just in, a clever duo of con men have been at work in the area. They pose as a Mountie and an Inuit man and con people out of their gold. The police advise people to be on the lookout for these clever thieves. Damn! I'm sorry, Winston. They fleeced you out of all your gold. And that's not the worst part. I can't get these fish off my hands. <laughs> oh, Winston! Oh, well. Walrus enchiladas, anyone? <laughs> Good night, everyone! Walrus Enchilada. Tom's Place provided all of my suits. Thanks, Tom. Walrus Enchilada. Walrus Enchilada. Walrus Enchilada. Thank you.